From the perspective of evolutionary biology, mutations can be di differentiated into three different types. There are the beneficial mutations that increase the fitness, that is the potential to survive and replicate of an organism, detrimental mutations that lower that fitness, and also neutral mutations, which have a relatively small, if no, impact on the potential for an organism to replicate and survive relative to um, that ability associated with the parental genotype. Neutral, uh, neutral mutations have an intermediate uh, likelihood of occurrence uh, relative to beneficial and detrimental mutations as well as their intermediate fitness impact. Detrimenta detrimental mutations tend to be the light, light most likely of mutations to occur, whereas be beneficial mutations tend to have a very low likelihood of occurrence. Thus, the majority of mutations do not benefit an organism, uh, and in fact, uh, perhaps the vast majority of mutations are, are in fact detrimental to an organism. We can also consider the target size for mutation. The more genes that are involved in a process, the more nucleotides that make up the genes that are involved in a process, and the more likelihood, the greater the likelihood that in fact mutation will occur within that process. And in all likelihood that those mutations will be detrimental, but occasionally they're beneficial.